So we all know microorganisms cause damage and cause a lot of harm, like diseases and so on. But despite this, we see that microorganisms are very important in biology and in several fields and studies. So why is this? Because microorganisms also have beneficial effects. We also have several benefits of having microorganisms. So just as we have the harmful effects of microorganisms. So what this is called, the total effects is what we mean by economic effects of microorganisms. So generally, when we say economic effects of something, that is the harmful effect and the beneficial effect. So today, that's our topic. We'll be talking about the beneficial effects of microorganisms. So we'll be talking about the effects of microorganisms in different fields and in different regions, in different studies, in different parts. So we're we'll starting with in nature, the beneficial effects of microorganisms in nature. So number one is that microorganisms help to maintain soil fertility. And we have a group of organisms called saprophytes. Now the saprophytes feed on dead or parts of dead or decaying organic matter and also the wastes and the waste products of organic matter. So these um, saprophytic organisms, so most of these saprophytes are bacteria and fungi. So these saprophytic organisms up to after feeding on these parts, they convert it into humus. So when they are feeding on the dead part, when they are feeding on the the the, the decaying part, when they are feeding on the waste of organic matter, they are turning it into humus. So when they convert it into humus, that humus improves soil fertility. So in that way, microorganisms help to maintain soil fertility. So that's number one benefit of microorganisms or beneficial effects of microorganisms is that they help to maintain soil fertility. Another another benefic benefit or beneficial effect of microorganisms is in nature, we are still talking about in nature, is that they help in recycling nutrients in the ecosystem. Now, we have several nutrient cycles. And what do nutrient cycles do? Nutrient cycles just help to recycle nutrients in nature. Nutrients like carbon, water, nitrogen, and so on. So these nutrients are recycled in nature by their various cycles. Now, microorganisms help to recycle these nutrients in those nutrient cycles. For example, in the nitrogen cycle, we have nitrogen-fixing bacteria that help to fix um, bacteria into plants or into the soil. We have nitrifying bacteria. They have to convert nitrates and so on. So we have different types of bacteria or microorganisms that are helping in the nitrogen cycle. So that is uh, a benefit of microorganisms in nature. They help in recycling nutrients in the ecosystem. So they have to ensure the continual use of these nutrients. They have to recycle them in nature. They have to make sure that these um, nutrients do not go out of order. They do not we do not lose these nutrients. So as the same nutrients that are used are the one used in the atmosphere used is recycled, used in the soil, used in the plants, then sent back to the atmosphere. So that's what we mean by um, these nutrient cycles and recycling of nutrients. So that's the second um, benefit of microorganisms in nature. They help in recycling nutrients in the ecosystem. We also have beneficial effects of microorganisms in sewage treatment. So also the saprophytic microorganisms um, like bacteria help to decompose sewage. You know, we have, when we're talking about um, waste products, so when we're talking about waste, we have refuse and we have sewage. Now, sewage is mostly liquid um, waste. So saprophytic microorganisms can decompose sewage into harmless inorganic compounds. So it can... In the process of decomposing it, it helps to kill pathogens. So it makes the uh, sewage less harmful than it would have been. So microorganisms can help to um, help in sewage treatment. So sewage treatment is just trying to reduce the toxicity of the sewage so, so that it can be dis disposed of properly. 
So saprophytic microorganisms help by feeding on the um the this waste, this sewage, they help to convert it into harmless inorganic compounds. So it can be disposed properly. So we also have benefits of microorganisms in food industries. Now, microorganisms can carry out various fermentation processes in many food industries. So we can use microorganisms to ferment or different food substances or use it to help in the fermentation processes. So for several centuries, um, we've been using microorganisms to produce um, different foods like cheese, yogurt, bread, alcohol, and um, vegetables, uh, so on and so forth. So um, examples of this microorganism that we can use to produce this food is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So Saccharomyces cerevisiae is used is also called brewer's yeast or baker's yeast. So we use it to produce bread from dough. So we use it to produce bread from dough. Then we also have Acetobacter. That's another example of a microorganism. We use it to produce vinegar from alcohol. So microorganisms can be used in the food industries to help to produce some food. And I've given an example like bread. We use yeast. And this yeast is known as um, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. And we also we use that to produce bread from yeast. Then we also use Acetobacter to produce alcohol. I'm sorry, to produce vinegar from alcohol. So vinegar is, is, is a type of drink. We use alcohol, um, this Acetobacter to produce vinegar from alcohol. Alcohol is basically just ethanol. So we can use Acetobacter to produce vinegar from alcohol. So that's one um, use of microorganisms in the food industries. We use them to produce or to ferment some particular food products. Also, still talking about beneficial effects of microorganisms in the food industry. So also still talking about the beneficial effects of microorganisms in the food industry. Uh, we use microorganisms to supplement some foods such as um, milk powders and cereals. So especially packaged foods like milk powder, powdered milk that we have like three crowns and um, pig milk, stuff like that. We use microorganisms to supplement. The, if you check the nylon, uh, a pack of pig milk, for example, you would see that it has been supplemented with several nutrients. You see vitamins, you see some amino acids and some nucleic acids. So we use microorganisms to supplement um, foods like this, milk powders, cereals, with vitamins, amino acids, and nucleic acids. So that's a benefit. So this, um, the way we use, we, we, we do this is microbial cultures. We use it to produce these um, nutrients. So we have microorganisms that we culture them and we use it to produce them. We use it to produce these nutrients in the required concentrations. So we don't just do it anyhow. We use this culture to make sure we can, um, we can produce these nutrients in the concentration that is required for that food. For example, we use yeast to produce um, the big group vitamins, the big complex vitamins, uh, B12 and the likes, all that, those kind of vitamins. So we can use yeast to produce the, um, the B group vitamins. Also, in the chemical industry, we also have the beneficial effect of microorganisms. We use microorganisms to produce um, many substances and enzymes, such as citric acid, um, dextrans, cellulose. So we can use um, microorganisms to produce these substances. Uh, we use th these substances obviously have various importances. So we can use uh, microorganisms to produce enzymes, to produce citric acids, to produce dextrans, cellulose, and so on and so forth. So that's the use of microorganisms in the chemical industries. Also, in the chemical industries, we use microorganisms to produce substances that are important in medicine, in, in making medicines and drugs. For example, we have um, Streptomyces griseus. 
and that's used in the production of streptomycin. And also, we have bacillus that we can use in the production of proteases and amylase. So this, that's in the chemical industry. We can use microorganisms to produce medicines or substances that are used in um, producing medicines. Like I mentioned, we can use streptomyces gracious to produce a drug called streptomycin. So, and um, that, that's the use of microorganisms in the chemical industries. Also still in the um, chemical industries, beneficial effects of microorganisms in the chemical industries, we have, we can use bacteria, um, which is a microorganism, in metal extraction. So in the extraction of metals, we can use bacteria to extract these metals from their ores, such as copper, um, uranium. So we can use this um, bacteria to extract the uh, metals, like I've mentioned copper and uranium as examples, from their ores and waste residue. So we make use of these um, microorganisms in the mines. So we use them in metal extraction. So that's still in the chemical industry. We use uh, microorganisms for metal extraction. That's another beneficial effect of microorganisms. Also, still under the beneficial effects of microorganisms, we are moving to another area. We have the um, beneficial effects in the biological control of pests. So we have different ways to control pests. We have chemical method, we have mechanical method, and we also have the biological method of control of pests. So in the biological method, we basically just use living um, organisms to control pests. So in the biological control of pests using microorganisms, we have several microorganisms that we've produced specifically to attack insect pests. So we can use some microorganisms that we specifically produce to attack some insect pests, and that's biological control of pests. Also, another way we apply the, um, the microorganisms, we apply it in the biodegradation of pollutants. Now, we have some organic substances that cannot be re recycled or they cannot be degraded. They cannot be um, decomposed in nature. So, um, these substances, they accumulate and they, they, they pollute the environment. Example of such substances, petroleum. We all know petroleum. So, we could have oil spillage and the petroleum, the petroleum products or the petroleum just pollutes the um, water or the water bodies. So, um, we have this um, petroleum is an organic substance. So, it cannot be degraded or recycled in nature. So, we have um, some, bacteri some bacteria that can digest petroleum that some scientists have produced. Some scientists have produced this bacteria to digest petroleum specifically. So, this way we can use that to get rid of oil spillage in some water bodies. And we can use it to break down petroleum and petroleum products. So uh, that's another usefulness of microorganisms. You can use it to, de um, to decompose or to recycle organic substance that are not substances that are not easily decomposed. So that's the end of today's video. See you next time.